As the overlapping format back underway, Sammy Pupo, number 11 in the world, taking on Matthew McGillivray, number 14 in the world. McGillivray still new to the tour, but not a rookie. You saw him last season. Sammy Pupo's in his first lap. Here in TD, getting some big waves, some big scores. He's had a lot of round two losses, but everything's changed this year for Miguel. Setup work for McGillivray. Just checked out a wave. We'll see how he manages the non-priority side of his heat. Judges being very critical on the size of the wave, how critical they're riding it in the tube. They love a good foam ball ride. And scrapping into this one might be Maddie McGillivray. And oh. <laughs> he ends up sitting down. What a way to enjoy the non-priority side of your heat. <laughs> He's just cruising. As we look at live action, Samuel Pupo slamming on the brakes to get the vision. Bit of a warm-up wave against Matty McGillivray. Let's land the speed. Back to McGillivray. And the flyaway kickouts are impressive. They're crucial though too, so you don't end up squished on the shallow shelf right there. A lot of great stories of Tahitian wild cards as we Look at 4.19 on the clock. McGillivray will pull in on the first section and go straight down. He's probably hoping that one opened up there, but unfortunately didn't, as we see another bit of a rain squall coming through. So let's see how these effects line up with four minutes to go. This is Sammy Pupo in the non-priority heat. That one had a lot of foam on the face, so that takes him down. Oh, Griff is just so, so impressive. And Matty McGill right here just getting a nice deep one, coming out with the spit. Just incredible style there and poise from Matty. Super round. Loved that from... Talk about pressure. Oh, my gosh. We get to enjoy Oosh. it all unfold <laughs> in real time. Packing the first section out without a problem. Samuel Pupo. Remember Miguel described him as like a bigger Felipe? He sort of has a lot of moves that Felipe has, but he's a little bit taller. You're traveling a lot, surfing in a lot of heats, not making all the, the heats that you're hoping for. And then this, you're just forgetting all about that. A clean slate as you're just packing perfect barrels at home. Totally. Yeah, it's two opposite ends of the spectrum, you know, but uh, I love seeing someone like Cowley and, you know, Vahine, they're, they're doing both. and. You know, it's supposed to be hard being away from Paradise, but at the end of the day, they want to be on the world tour, so they got to do it. As we just saw Matthew McGillivray enjoy another beautiful cave and flying away nice and clean. Uh, might be taking the big barrels so far and big names as we catch up to what Cowley was enjoying from the boat. Wow. Samuel Pupo, another great make. Wow, that was an incredible drop. Sammy just engaging the rail, and you could see the board sliding down as he was trying to just make sure he held on to that. Slides out the bottom there, it's coming from behind the spit, and uh, that was a critical, critical wave for Sammy Pupo. And, you know, for someone that doesn't have a lot of experience out here, he is not afraid. He is just showing those shades that we saw at Pipe this year where he came out and was a giant killer. Loved the way he let go of the board there. And then just made sure he hung back on to make it out. But... Uh, just showing such style and and fearlessness. Next one's going upside down and trying to control one of the most radical takeoffs wow. of the day. McGillivray pulls off the impossible. Oh my. Oh wow. And look, all of his friends just are losing it. I do not understand how he hung on to that, Joe. That was just wild stuff. He seemed. He was so under the lip. Uh, as you can see, the jet ski just going in to get grip. He got that square on the head, but Maddie McGilvray, that was hitting himself in the face, just saying, how did I do that? But look, he's sideways, just getting crunched at the bottom and somehow hanging on to that. I think we could see something very, very high. Maddie McGilvray, we've seen a lot of people try that takeoff today and go down, but he hung on for dear life and just muscled and hugged his way through that foam ball. That was the most incredible thing I've seen all day. Unbelievable, out of control, but in perfect rhythm. He had that incredible tail release that was imperative for him getting deep on that wave. Total commitment from McGillivray. 
so much commitment, so much magic trickery for him. The nose dug in. He's going sideways down the face on a 10-foot huge tubing chokes wave and for him to be under the lip here on the foam ball, it's spitting in his face. He's so deep. I am going to say this is going to have to go perfect. I'm with you, Laura. That was incredible. One of the coolest things I've seen all day. He basically base jumped into the pit of that last wave at Teo Upo'o. Sammy Pupo is trying to find out what just happened because the channel erupted. It's number against Yago Dora. McGillivray wants more. <laughs> it's a two shootout here at the end of the road. Good afternoon, everybody. It has turned on and it's bonkers. Um, Griffin just got that wave of Maddie's on the head, that 10. Got absolutely flogged. Sammy Pupo. Sammy wants a piece of the action, and he is getting spit out by a <laughs> cannon of spray. This is what you qualify for. This is what you dream of when you come to Tahiti. Sammy Pupo first, Laura. Sammy Pupo, this was the last of the exchange, and that was an incredible critical takeoff. Just sliding down, <laughs> kicking at the bottom there, and just holding his line to just just muscle through that that was some amazing work shorter than i would say maddie mcgillivray's but look how steep that drop is he's going over the ledge fully extended to make sure that he does not poke his nose down and then just putting his body in the face to get under that lip letting go of the rail comes out behind the spit just flying through that that was just so cool for an 8.93. The takeoff was such a huge part of that wave. It was so critical. And this would continue. Samuel Pupo, two big drives, a third one under the hood, and comes out again. Wow. He's a passionate, emotional surfer. You know what that feels like. This is the wave we're waiting for. Is it an 808 to take the lead? Wow. I don't know. I. He was super deep. Had a few sections here. We're going to have to go down to the Woz to see what he thinks. Numbers will lock in for Samuel. A 7-5. Not enough. Matthew McGillivray survives a 10 and a 7 in an incredible matchup here in the round of 16 for two of the younger names. Wow. McGillivray's profile just changed dramatically on the championship tour.